Hello everyone, Anita here and welcome to Anita's Day Off, a show where I'm just doing all the other stuff besides drawing. So in today's video, we'll be putting together another one of those paper theater paper craft thingies, uh, little kits. This one is from my neighbor Totoro, which is one of my favorite Ghibli movies. And I've received this um, set from uh, friends that were uh, recently uh, visiting Japan. And I know for a fact that it's quite common there, but I do not know where to actually buy it outside of Japan or to a place I would ship this to Europe. So if you know it, please let me know in the comments below. I would, I would love to buy more of those. So here's the paper kit and here are the tools I will be using. So here is my, here are my little plier thingies, tweezer thingies. Uh, I actually don't know how that thing is called. <laughs> Mm, then there is the X-Acto knife, very handy, although not necessary. I've done one of these with just my fingernails and it works perfectly fine. And I have a little plate um, for spreading glue as well as the glue itself. It's just a clear P uh, PVA glue, nothing fancy. And for spreading the glue I have a toothpick because the little tiny parts are just too difficult to use anything else on. Um, that's why the tweezers as well. Lots of tiny parts in this set. So initially I wanted to um, have this video as an ASMR video, however, it did not work like this. Doesn't this video just ask for being ASMR? It's just, you just want to hear all those little paper noises. <laughs> if you would like me to continue attempting to make one of those videos into a, an ASMR, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to learn how to do it <laughs> and find some time to do it. It's, it's not that easy. In the meantime, I'm unpacking the little kit. So we have little um, a note. You can actually get little acrylic um, cases for these finished pictures. And we have a big sheet of instructions. These instructions will not appear later on, but I have them uh, on the side through the whole process. They are very, very detailed and very handy. And you don't have to know Japanese to actually follow what's happening. You have all the parts displayed and you have the assembly um, manual, I suppose. And so it shows you all the steps that you have to take to put it together. And then you have this little clear plastic envelope um, with all the parts inside, which I'm just gonna unpack one by one, and I'm going to speed it up because it's just wait, wait, way too much, way too many plays. This was a definitely much more uh, complicated uh, set than Kiki's Delivery Service, but because it's my neighbor Totoro, it was just so worth it. <laughs> So I'm putting together plate number one and I've pulled out all the pieces with one next to them so you can easily see which pieces go with which plate. So sometimes you have to look at the pieces that you're cutting out because some of the little tiny cutouts can get stuck inside the frame. Um, just because they didn't get popped while they were cut in the in the in the factory, and here I'm using the toothpick <laughs> and just gluing everything together. This was quite a big piece, and I was really afraid that the glue would uh, would either. I, it's it's very actually um, not that easy to put big pieces in because. You don't want to put too much glue on the piece because, of course, it will get soggy. Uh, but then, if you put too little, it will get uh, it will dry too fast, and you won't be able to glue it properly onto the other piece of paper. So, yeah, it was kind of kind of tricky, but I've managed. And here we are moving to plate number two, which is uh, the Totoro plate. And this is something I haven't done in the last video. I'm showing you how I cut away 
all the pieces. And I've realized that it's actually much easier to just wait for the pieces to um, just assemble them one by one instead of cutting all the pieces uh, at the same time. Especially in this case, because as you can see, those pieces are ridiculously small. And I was afraid that I would just lose one of them and it would be a shame. So... Here I'm making a mistake because I actually realize that it's probably much more beneficial <laughs> to put on, to put the glue on the darker, um, on the lighter part because the darker parts are showing behind. Uh, this is actually the back side, so I'm supposed to flip it on later, uh, flip it later. So you will see <laughs> me doing that. But then if I put the glue on the black part, it would be visible. Uh, in those little crevices and I didn't want that. You can actually see it, not that well, if, but if the glue gets somewhere where it's not supposed to be, you can see a little shine um, and, and it just looks a little bit, you know, not professional, not really polished and I don't, didn't like it. So I was really, really careful <laughs> there. And the good thing about this glue actually, um, as opposed to a glue stick, because I've used, um, tried using one before as well, is that you have that little moment where you can still move things around because the glue is rather runny. So you, you have that little... I had much less time to move things around with the glue stick. And the PVA glue actually <laughs> helps a lot with that. And oh my goodness, those little leaves, the leaf parts, they are so annoying to put in. Look at the size of that thing. This is probably the smallest piece I've put in so far in the, in the in the little paper theaters that I've I've made so far so satisfying though this really gives you this this very satisfied accomplished feeling once you put it all together however i have to say that this one was definitely much more time consuming than kiki's delivery service uh, the, especially the, the parts there is just the amount of parts uh, tiny parts as you can see here we have uh, Satsuki and Mei and we have the <laughs> sign we have all the little tiny clothes look at the size of those compared to my finger for example they're so tiny and that was one of the reasons why I've decided just to cut it all at the time for example of plate number three um, instead of pre-cutting them because I was really afraid that one of those teeny weeny bits would just get lost somewhere. And I swear, even picking those up <laughs> was a problem. And I, I really think that these boots are different sizes. But I couldn't figure out really which one was which, so I just put them randomly. I don't think there is that more much of a difference there. But I have to say, this was probably the most frustrating bit that I had to do, just because there was, the pieces were so tiny and there were so many of them, so you didn't really have a feel that feeling of accomplishment <laughs> that you would normally have after making something, um, because uh, you know you're just working on this teeny weeny piece and you don't really see the whole big picture yet. So, yeah, but we got through it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I keep saying that they're really time consuming, and but in reality, uh, putting one one of these together um, doesn't take that long. Um, this particular one took me about an hour and a half but that's also with recording and having to keep you know certain order to things so I imagine that it would take me much faster if I just did it on my own without worrying about angles <laughs> camera angles and uh, recording time 
This was also one of the very first videos I've made with my new camera, so I was worrying about uh, about the quality and how it would look. Oh, and these little guys, the whiskers um, of the mice, the headlight mice. <laughs> These were also very tricky. I was afraid I would actually, um, be, just because the pieces were so thin, I was afraid that I would break them. So as you can see, this is a third rather complicated plate in this set. While well, Kiki's Delivery Service had only one really complicated one. Really complicated plate, <laughs> I suppose. And please notice how many different parts of the cat, uh, the cat paws you actually have. So here, as you can see, I really didn't want to um, have the glue showing on the other side. This is the, the back, as you can see. S but it wasn't really uh, that obvious where I should put all the parts, so I was kind of moving stuff around and peeking beneath, so that's also very handy because you really don't have to put the glue everywhere. As you can see, my the glue is put really rough and I'm just kind of slapping it around <laughs> because honestly, these pieces are so... they're rather sturdy and stiff, despite being thin. Um, so once you put in the glue in a few parts, they're not going to bend, especially that they're all put together, so they're forming this very thick um, almost plasticky kind of material, <laughs> I suppose. Very, very thick and sturdy. And so you really, really don't have to put glue in every single place. I would, I could probably get away with putting it in the much smaller spaces, but... You know, what can I say? I'm a perfectionist. I really, really wanted to put it, you know, nice and tidy. I didn't want to run into a trouble where one of the pieces would just stick um, somewhere where it's not supposed to be. And to be fair, it doesn't matter with those big, uh, big like op I don't, not not opaque, but those very very uh, filled pieces. Um, that's just one color. Oh yeah, I had a lot of problems actually putting the mice in because you can't really see where to put them. But there is a tiny little cutout that's supposed to be the shadow and that's where you actually put the little mice. That was uh, something I've learned on the go because you don't really see it on the instructions, at least I didn't see it. So here are the little whiskers that caused me a bit of a trouble. That's what I meant. Uh, when, when the piece is rather big, it doesn't matter, but um, when the pieces are thin, like the whiskers and here, the little stripes on the cut bus, I'm always afraid that the pieces will not really stick properly. So that's why I always want to <laughs> put those, um, put some glue on there. And here I'm putting in the little last detail, which is the pink nose of the cat bus and then the pink noses and whiskers of the mice. So here are the, let's say, leftover plates, which are just background plates. They create that dense forest. So I'm just cutting them away as, long, uh, as well as the frame. And the frame is exactly the same as when with Kiki's delivery service. So you have three different sizes of the frame pieces. And you have to make sure that the bigger pieces are at the bottom. Because they are the little feet, they create the support. And then you just put them in the order that you made them in. So the way they are um, marked as one, two, three four and five and so on, <laughs> there are more. And then I just kind of got the technique going <laughs> with the time. Um, this one had a little bit of different frame, so you had the uh, pieces, um, the top pieces on the, um, not on the diagonal, but um, you put them straight from the top. 
So I worked on the uh, one side first before I moved to the next one, just because the pieces were easier to just keep together. They, they really want to move around before you put that little frame. Once you put the little frame in place, they're surprisingly sturdy. They really, really nice. They're they really nicely stay together. But before that, they just want to move around the place. And you know, you just you can see me here kind of moving it around because you can't find a good angle to push the paper in, but you can't really bend it, so it's kind of you know tricky. But here I finally have the finished piece, and look how adorable this is. I just can't stop looking at it. So much detail, it was so worth the pain <laughs> to put those teeny weeny bits uh, in place. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment to tell me if you did. I really enjoy your comments and leave a like It helps a lot and tells me I should make more video and if you would like to see more then consider subscribing um, I will be definitely making more. I mean, I need more days off. So there will be more videos uh, Thank you so very very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye